You know, I've actually started to look like a batshit crazy psycho dude on YouTube. I should probably be worried about that, but I don't care. FBI, come and get me. I don't care. Just profile me. It's all good. I have been reading for, I guess, about the past three years or so, several um, studies and surveys regarding human cognitive behavior regarding people and their ideologies, their political ideologies, and some of their, often, their non-political ideologies, um, such as, I don't know, uh, vegetarianism, veganism, stuff like that, that is not really political, and their acceptance or rejections of statements of facts or statements that are false. Um, generally, I've been reading about um, papers, uh, studies, and surveys regarding the rejection of evidence for human-caused climate change and how that relates to the person rejecting or accepting um, statements of facts or statements that are false based on political ideology and the political spectrum that they happen to um, fall upon. It will come as probably no surprise to a lot of people that the acceptance of um, false statements tends to bunch up on one side of the political spectrum and if you don't know which side of that spectrum um, we're talking about, I'm talking about here, you haven't been paying attention, at least not in the United States. In other countries, that which is true and that which is false in a lot of cases does not really um, match political ideology when it comes to accepting or rejecting that which is false or that which is true. In the United States, it's a whole different matter entirely. Political ideology tends to um, dictate that which people accept and that which people reject, regardless of if the statement that they are accepting or rejecting is true or false. Um, with a bias, I must say, to what is considered conservative side of the spectrum. Um, I wanted to point out a fine article, I'm going to leave a link down here in this video's description, regarding a political ideology in the United States lumped um, within conservatives and non-conservatives, people who were surveyed um, in a actual study that identified, self-identified as either conservative or non-conservative. Each person was given a fake news article that had an actual quote by President George W. Bush inside the fake article. And I'm going to read that statement so I get it 100% correct what that statement actually was. Quote, this is an actual quote by George W. Bush. The tax relief stimulated economic vitality and growth and it has helped increase revenues to the Treasury. End of quote. What the tax relief um, George Bush was talking about was cutting severely taxes to the wealthy in the claim that doing so would improve the economy and increase revenue in the federal treasury by cutting taxes to the wealthy. The claim would be that it would stimulate the economy by creating new jobs. Uh, workers would actually be producing wealth that they would, no, would not be doing because they wouldn't have a job to produce that wealth. And then the workers doing the labor, providing the goods and services, would then, without their taxes being cut or raised, would flood the treasury with uh, more money than what the tax break to the fabulously wealthy and the wealthy uh, was given. The statement was read by a whole lot of conservatives and a whole lot of non-conservatives. Each of those two groups 
were then presented with a correction which pointed out that the statement was false. Looking at the numbers, people who self-identified as conservatives before they read the correction um, noting that if you cut taxes to the wealthy and the fabuli fabulously wealthy, the treasury increases. 33% of self-identified conservatives agreed with that statement, which shows that conservatives are not stupid because the statement is false. When those self-identified conservatives read the correction stating that the statement was false, and stating why it was false, they were then asked if they still accepted the statement as true. 68% then stated that the statement was true. Out of a little bit more than 30, it doubled after they were shown evidence showing that the statement was false. They agreed with it more than 200%. Non-conservatives, when they were showed that statement, uh, read the statement, 32%, more or less, believed the statement was true, which shows that among conservatives and non-conservatives, a f ridiculous false statement generally gets rejected. When the non-conservatives were shown the correction stating that the statement was false and showing why it was false and showing evidence that the statement was false. The number of people who then agreed with the statement being true decreased by um, about 6%. And it went from 32% to um, 27 or 28%. So the number actually decreased but it didn't go to zero. So political ideology, conservative, non-conservative, dictated and in, among uh, self-identified conservatives, dictated sharply that which they rejected and that's which they accepted as true. When they were conservatives, self-identified conservatives were shown evidence showing that a political um, statement that master ideology was false, they were twice, more than twice as likely and twice as strongly accepted the false statement, even though the evidence showed that it was false. Which terrifies me. The article is about fact-checking um, politicians and the statements that they make in uh, political um, campaign ads and stuff like that. The study, not just this one, but several uh, fact-checking became popular um, in the past um, seven, eight years or so. Several studies in the past three or four years have shown when somebody holds a political ideology um, where a statement of fact is accepted or rejected based upon that political ideology, if they see evidence that what their conviction is either um, accepts or rejects a statement, contradicts their political ideology, they are more likely, if they are self-identified conservatives, to more uh, strongly believe the false statement. <sighs> And non-conservatives are very slightly less likely to believe a false statement or believe a true statement. Pretty fucking frightening. Uh, it goes to show that fact-checking political statements, even when politicians are shown to be liars, flat-out lying, flat out stating ridiculous nonsense that is obviously nonsense. Political ideology of the person listening to the statement of fact or the, the lie dictates overwhelmingly if they accept or reject it regardless of evidence to the contrary or supporting 
what they accept uh, if it is a true statement or rejecting that which is false. Fucking frightening. Human cognitive behavior. Fucking frightening. And it spells doom for humanity, I suspect.